Okay guys, what is up? It is Gamer J Bork back in with another video. Today, um, I actually played the the storyline for my career. This is my first technically episode of the storyline. My career is really good. You got to play through high school and get into college and go through college. And I looked and I, I'm I'm declaring for the draft right now. It says I should get picked in the late first round. So, guys, here I am, the NBA draft. I'm going to continue. I think I was in the Syracuse College. And it was just, it, it was amazing. I did really good there. There I go. I'm actually a center, and here we go, guys. All right, let's go. I'm going to continue and see what happens. I'm going to get drafted into the NBA probably right here, right now. Why don't you get drafted? Is that funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It's a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, I just did. Uh, you stayed all four years. I wanted to get my degree. Try again. You're captain of your team, conference player of the year, all, all nice awards, things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda, I don't care about all that. I make sure you got leadership, character, defensive mode, all that helps. That's real. What about those other things? Hey, what position do I play? Point guard. Yeah, I mean, my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? What about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers? Good dunkers you even see at the street games? Is it explosive? Where they love the NBA, okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. I mean, a GM goes on record and says, You're his guy, and he says that to his team. His whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. Because they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, then some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. They draft the other guy. At least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. That was awesome. I think I still have to do the combine Oof. now. Now, most people on the outside won't see it. But this, my friend, is where the draft begins. Suit shop? Mm-hmm. Messaging is everything. Okay, so is it a wrong choice here? Yeah, it is. Think of it like a spectrum. One end you got Russell Westbrook, loud on and off court. On the other, you got Kawhi, quiet on and off court. Are you one of them or are you in the middle? What you decide will help teams get an idea of what you're really all about. Are you ready, Junior? Yeah. You ready, Junior? Yeah. Oh, I get to choose my outfit here. This is dope, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna get drafted. If if I uh, if the draft goes right away, then I'll just do that. But if I have to do the combine, then I'll just do that. I'll right, just go top black with yellow. Ooh, that looks that looks pretty good right there. Not even gonna try to lie about that. No, I don't like that. Oh my god, look look how many 2K decided to go with. I kinda yellow ties, I I'm feeling them. The yellow ties. That 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 second one looked pretty good. Um No. I don't really want gray. Alright, let's go right there. Let's go bottoms. I don't want normal back plan, so yeah, that goes with it pretty good. Uh, do I want something that goes with it pretty good? Yeah, I'll go with the blue pants right there. And the shoes. I'll go with those camo loafers. Yeah, right there. Nah, that's pretty good. Alright, finish. Beautiful choice. We'll put this together and have it for you right away. Listen, Art. 
I got a chance to play with this little good I already know. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Our and team run a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me so that they contacted you. You're not upset? Why would I be? Someone take a meeting. I want you to. Root out the specifics. Look, just because you signed with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. Okay. I'm gonna hear a plan first. Hers or mine. Oh. We beat to rap what he beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. 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 I'm the associate agent, so when he's out of the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day to day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced in when you're walking in. <laughs> it's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. Layla. Layla, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior, hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we wanna create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes, already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No. Uh, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now, I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. Maybe not the exact team I want to play for. Anything is possible, but it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not gonna lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. <sighs> That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that. <laughs> <specifically, laughs> no. My parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and you. Oh, Jersey represent. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here, Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. This is cringy, bro. It feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There's a little reality. Archie. He's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other.
I don't like it. Not one bit. Fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy Hendrix Carr, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes. Yes, it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football player, Newark. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so I use it. contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. Man. She says she got a movie deal available for me Deals? Now. Or ideas with deals may be. I don't know. Seems to me like you should. Big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. She may have a little bit more firepower than you right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want as if it were my own story. I find the people to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Oh, okay, so I have to basically choose between them. I want to I want to award Archie because he helped me a lot, but let's just, I'm going to pause it and look at these things. Okay, guys, I'm not looking in this, and it's obviously going to be Archie's, Archie Bodweld. Obviously, because I'm not going to play that much games in the league in the NBA. Maybe, like, the first season, really, but, like, I'm not going to play that much. I'm going to play the neighborhood actually a lot. And you don't even get you don't even get good chemistry here, and I do here, and I get more VC here. I don't really care about how the endorsements play. I'm kind of focused on my career right now, so definitely gonna go. And he's also known, and he's he helped me, and I want to award him. So I'm definitely going with Archie Baldwin. Listen, uh, things haven't always been smooth between us, but I know you. Even better. Yeah, I, I could dig it. And the fact that you're from here means something. I know I'm making the right choice. Thank you, Junior. Won't let you down. I know you won't, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Plus, they, the agency gets so many deals. He doesn't. So I definitely want to get with him. one hand, you can slide without the draft. The other, you can step up. Snatch a spot in the lottery. Wait, hold on. Players are going out of the draft from the spot on it? I mean, so projections until the media hits you and the combine game starts firing. I mean, the next step in this process for any player is the personality evaluation test. So we'll put you in a room with an interviewer who asks you a bunch of probing questions about yourself. <laughs> All right, so I'll just be honest and let them know who I am. Yeah, but you also want to be aware of what they want to hear. Integrity, character, leadership. I didn't even know I was. I didn't even know I was in a party. It just said I was removed from a party, and I don't even remember being in a party. What was that? I don't know. Asking questions be just fine. Okay, I don't know what. Just nothing really happened there. We just kind of had a big cut scene, and we chose them. We chose Archie over the. The agency or whatever. Okay, I yeah, I got enough time. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more because nothing really happened there. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be the last one. If I do the combine here, then this will be the last one. Although I don't really want to do the combine. Let me just go on the draft and get drafted, boy. All right, what is this? Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. This isn't a test. This isn't an interrogation. We're here to have a discussion. Point of which is to get to know you better as a person. There are no right or wrong answers. All we want is for you to be as open and honest as possible. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. What would one of your family members tell us about you? That he's always one of the best left to compete. I'm never easy going, get high too low. I've got a big personality. I lead by example. Uh, <laughs> that's 
that's interesting. Uh, I think they say I'm pretty easygoing. Never get too high or too low. How so? so? I just get along with everybody. Doesn't matter if someone's from different from me or likes different things. I respect the person for who they are and what they're about. Of course. Whatever happens, I deal with it. I don't make a big deal out of it. Today's a bad day, tomorrow will be better. Great, let's move on. I'm curious, how do you deal with teammates you don't like? Just play my game. I want to work out with our defense immediately. That's never happened to me. I've always been the best player on my team, so I expect that he would fall in line. That doesn't really happen a lot, to be honest with you. But if it does, I just try to work out whatever differences I might have for that teammate and me. I don't like to let things build up, you know? What if you can't work out your differences? All right, then I keep trying. I don't really like to think there's a situation where I couldn't see eye to eye with the teammate if I tried to understand where they're coming from. Everybody wants to win on the team. Are you the best player in this draft class? Yes, it's a mentality you have to play with. Not yet, but let's see what happens. Yes, um, I believe that's the mentality I have to play with. Explain a little more. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm in the conversation, and I know that. But who's the best can be subjective, like MJ versus LeBron. Let's say I'm the best in the class now. It's irrelevant to me. I mean, I want to be the best five. 10 years from now, and that's what drives me. One last question, and then I'll let you go, Junior. She, doesn't, she has no reaction. She just, like, looks at me when I answer the question. What's your primary motivation for joining the league? It's my passion, but it's also a business. Love of the game. All I care about is the, being the best in the world. Ah! Yeah, I grew up with basketball. Yeah, my dad. So it's in my blood. It's my passion. It's all I ever think about. What about making a living? Well, yeah, that's important too. Everybody needs money to live. And uh, I know this is a business. An NBA contract has set my family up for life. But it's far from the only thing that drives me. All right. That'll wrap it up. Wait, that's it? That's it. Thank you very much for your time, Junior. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice to meet you. Nice talking with you. Best of luck in the draft. Thank you. Okay, that worked out pretty nicely, even though I don't know what I'm doing here. Can I please get to the draft? i got to angle this thing up a little bit. There we go. That's not a good or a bad thing. Teams check out the data. Someone like you more, someone like you less. The sun won't matter. The deal is fluid. Mm -hmm. I I'll take two of those. Yeah, but the results can change where I currently sit in the draft. I'm not hungry. You don't have to. You could stay exactly where you are right now. So I just gotta sit here and wait? Well, not here. There are a few days left before the next steps are taken. I figure you might enjoy your bed a little bit more. Uh, and I'm glad you think this is so funny. This is a marathon, son. Breathe. Or you should burn yourself out before we even get started. Okay. Oh, now I'm in the solid first round? Guys, I don't know what's happening. You know what? This can be a long episode. I don't even care. How much time is in this? 19 minutes. I don't even care. Alright, guys. That's, that's going to be it for the video. Um, we did a lot. We got to the solid first round. Draft's looking nice. Um, subscribe, let me make sure to like the video. Unless, like, it starts off with immediate combine or draft, or the draft, I'm just gonna immediately leave. Alright, bye guys.